back to my channel. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use calculator to um, to distribute a factor multiplied by another uh, factor multiplied by equation or a factor multiplied by factor. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna use the calculator to distribute this and rewrite it in form of this. Okay, a polynomial equation. Okay, so how? Let me go over it. So first, let me turn on the calculator. All right. So if you want to do this. First, you need to type exactly how it looks on uh, how the problem is look. Okay, so let me type it type it in real quick. So I have x plus four times. Uh, actually, just get have to hit the multiplication button, but it's up to you. It doesn't matter. X squared plus three x plus five. All right. Then what do you do next? Uh, you hit a uh, solve. Okay, there's a solve button, and then give it one thousand. Okay, x equal one thousand. Then hit equals equal sign twice. All right, you see that it gives you a number, and this is could be a million number, a million, or uh, couple of hundred millions, whatever number that is, depending on your uh, factors. All right, whatever. All right, now let's figure out what does this number means. So you have one zero zero seven zero one seven zero. To zero, okay. What does this number mean? Okay, because I give uh, one thousand value for x. And now let's divide this into thousand. You will see it right away. So because I have uh, first, when you multiply, when you look at this factor, you should recognize that this is x to the cubed. So three, a uh, third degree polynomial. In in when you multiply this out, you should get x cubed. Okay, so here's my uh, constant x x squared x cubed. Okay. Oh, that is x x where x cubed okay so the the number represent the coefficient for that variable so in this case I have uh, 1 x cubed which is 1 x cubed plus 7 x squared I have 7 x squared here plus 17 x 17 x and plus 20 for the constant you can quickly double check by multiply the constant in the highest three leading variable here so 4 times 5 is 20 so I got a constant of 20 and this also give me 20 okay so here's my I already I already multiplied this out to show you that it works and I got from this one I can rewrite it as x cubed plus 7x squared plus 17x plus 20 okay all right now let's try the next one so you type in exactly how it is written on the paper okay x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 alright solve 1000 okay alright what does it give you 1006011006 so when you fluently doing this you can write down your answer right away you don't have to do what I am doing here because I'm doing this for explaining purposes so a little long but once you get it takes you less than five minutes all right now again look at this x times x times x that's you should get x cubed okay so you have constant x x where x cubed again I have one x cubed plus six x squared plus eleven x plus six all right let's check so one times two times three is six so I got the constant of six so that's a quick check all right, if you if you don't trust me, you can multiply this out, and you should, I guarantee you should get this uh, polynomial equation. All right, now let's try this one. Uh, x plus two times x plus three, okay, times x plus four. This uh, this you know, comes very handy when you do a problem or you don't know how to expand um, a factor times factors, or is uh, or you can use this as another way to double check your answer okay it helps many way all right so I have x plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all right solve give it the 1000 hit equal side twice all right all right in this case I got uh, 1.0140711154 time 10 to the 12 all right oh look at this time 10 to the 12 I've got a problem here so after this because this is the maximum number that the calculator can give me so what is uh, is the this times 10 to the 12 it means that after the decimal point it has 12 
numbers but in this case has let's see two four six a nine it has only nine and i'm missing three numbers so what goes after uh, 54 so how do we figure it out all right so very simple you're gonna take this number minus you can subtract uh this or you can subtract all the way down here okay let me subtract 1.01407 okay because i'm missing three three more so i think this is good time 10 to the 12. okay so let's see what does it give me what does it give me so give it give a give that a value if x thousand it gives you this number take this number subtract you go you can go from here to here or go from here all the way down here whatever number you like okay let me show you how it works and then minus 1.01407 times 10 to the 12 it equals all right now look 115 it gives me 1154120 okay let's check so i subtract all the way down here right here's my left number so 1154 1154 and my last three numbers are 120 okay now put all of these together I got 10140711541120. All right, now separated by thousand. Okay, now let's check. You have x, one, two, three, four. X to the fourth. Four x multiplied together gives you x to the fourth. So I have constant x, x square, x cube, x to the fourth. So one x to the fourth plus fourteen x cute plus 71 x squared plus 154 x plus 120 for the constant so quick check 2 times 3 6 6 uh, 4 times 5 is 20 6 times 20 is 120 okay so it works now what about this one you're gonna do the same thing x plus 4 rises to the fourth solve give it uh, give x 1000 hit equal sign okay it happens again time 10 to the 12 now this time uh, I will go over it real quick because you already know how to do it. 1.01609625617 to the 12 minus, so I'm going to go all the way down to here. 0 1.01609625 times 10 to the 12, okay? Minus 1.01609625 times 10 to the 12. I got 256256, five, all right? So I got all from one all the way down to here in the last three digits are two five six. So here they match it up to two five six and I'm missing three numbers. So those numbers are two five six. So the actual number is one zero one six zero nine six two five six two five six. I now divided into three. Okay. So you have constant x, x where x q x to the fourth. So you have x to the fourth actually should be x to the fourth. All right, now look at this. You have sixteen plus sixteen x cubed plus ninety six x squared plus two fifty six x plus two fifty six for the constant. All right, let's check the constant. So fourth to the fourth, fourth to the fourth, two fifty six. Okay, check. Now for the last problem, how do you do this one? All right, do the same thing. Let's see if there's something new here. All right, now give it uh, give x one thousand. All right, you got this number nine nine four zero one zero nine nine four. All right, now divide this into a thousand. Okay, so you have x times x times x. You should get x cubed, right? All right, so have constant x x squared x cubed. All right, I'm missing a number here. There's nothing here. Is it a uh, zero x cubed? No way. All right, so what is it so look at this one my constant so from here i can check very quick negative one times negative two positive two times negative three negative six so my constant cannot be nine nine four it has to be negative six so how do i check it all right if you uh, look at this is there any relation between nine nine four and negative six is it equal to negative one thousand minus negative six one thousand minus six all right so here I have 1000 minus 6 gives me 994 is it right so always when you when you see this one when you're missing a number for the highest degree 
think about that in there's no way that has to be a constant or a leading coefficient be 9, 99 or whatever number usually it has a zero in front or it should be a reasonable number okay but cannot be 99 okay when you see 99 you have to write it up to 1000 all right in this case once I write it up to 1000 I take a thousand subtract this number I got six and because I subtracted I got negative number okay so I got negative six here all right so because I uh, make it thousand so I have to make this become one okay so now it becomes eleven all right now same thing over here make it thousand so this number minus nine nine four equals six positive six for sure okay so when you make this become thousand the one goes here in here you have negative six again all right so what is your end final answer your final answer is equal to x cubed minus six x squared plus eleven x minus six okay so x times x times x x cubed negative 1 times negative 2 positive 2 times negative 3 negative 6 right in the middle part I I did this before so I, I'm sure that this has to be negative 6x squared uh, plus 11x all right that's how you do it all right that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything I'll see you next time